Hey guys, it's Joe again with another back-to-back -back series here at Lane Sports Cards. This week, I got two cards from my collection. Um, it's of the same player, actually. We got Mr. Joey Votto. Now we've officially retired. For this first one, I got this Cherry Blossom Parallel from one of his latest cards. It's actually probably one of his last cards as, as an active player with the Cincinnati Reds. I thought this was a great card to have. I just like the the actual, you know, the parallel of the Cherry Blossoms. It's really cool. This one is from 2023 Tops. And uh, yeah, it's the uh, 20, uh, the 30th, uh, 35th anniversary for Tops on this one. Then I got his rookie card from 2008 uh, Upper Deck Timeline. Uh, this is uh, going way back. Uh, <laughs> You can see like the old style card, um, Upper Deck, you know, no longer makes uh, licensed baseball cards, but uh, this one's a great one for the collection. I thought I had to pick this up and share it with you guys. All right. For this very first one, for our Cherry Blossom of uh, Tops, we got here a lot of stats and a couple things to go over. We can see that Joey Votto is born of Toronto, Canada, uh, that he is very, he, uh, he shares that a lot. He actually signed with the Toronto Blue Jays uh, his last season, but never actually officially played for him until he retired just recently. Um, he was a uh, acquired via draft with the uh, Cincinnati Reds. Um, he was drafted number two in June of 2002. So uh, we got some stats here sharing him over the last five years from 2018 to 2022, that little run. Uh, you can see the shortened season of 2020 and the uh, shortened season with uh, injury on 2022 here. He looks like he, uh, he's a consistent hitter, batting 284, 261, 266. Uh, instead of the uh, you know short season of 2020 with COVID and the injury, you can tell that he was always a great player. Um, and it says down here, through 2021, Joey's career 432 on base percentage and 979 OPS after the MLB All-Star Game break topped active, active players. That was just kind of a general thing with Joey Votto. The dude got on base all the time. He was a really good hitter. And it says here also in the back of the card, this way to the clubhouse. Joey signed as a second round MLB draft selection with the Reds June 5th, 2002 by scout John Castleberry. So you can see here with this card, it's the 35th anniversary of 20 tops. Um, this is a great one from the 1998 parallel. And uh, yeah, just a really fun card to have in my collection. Now we're going into the 2008 Upper Deck Timeline. Uh, very old school card. Uh, there's not a lot they share with this on the back of the card. It's just very, very simplified. It just says here his weight, his height, which way he bats. He's from, Ontario, uh, from Toronto, Ontario. Um, and then shares here one year total from, uh, from that year in 2008. Batted 321 in 24 games. He had 27 hits. Four home runs, 17 RBIs. So he, you know, for that short time, he did get on base and get some hits. And says here also, Votto sh showed enough promise at the end of 2007 that the Reds put him on their major league roster to start 2008, taking over the team's first regular first baseman. He hit 308 and 13 RBIs in April. So he was immediately taken over first base uh, for the Cincinnati Reds. I think that was after that time that Adam Dunn was running first base pretty much for a while. And uh, yeah, Joey Votto, he is a legendary player in the game. He's a little more known now for his uh, social media on TikTok. He's uh, got a lot of videos out there. He's a funny guy. He's very entertaining. Uh, he tried to give it a shot this year with the Toronto Blue Jays, but it seems like it didn't work out. And uh, he's calling it a career. I uh, just felt we, we had to share these two cards from the collection. Great, cool parallels, cards that are no longer made. And uh, yeah, just a rookie card. And a present day card, I thought it was uh, really cool to share those because it's... this guy was a legend in MLB. And uh, if you guys have any other legends that we should celebrate on this uh, on this series, let me know in the comments what kind of players you want to sh uh, share that you know, we kind of forget about. There's some great cards out there, some history to be known, and I want to hear what you guys have to tell.